Good afternoon and uh, welcome to the world's largest criminal organisation. As we ask the question, if Google was a human being, would Google be a psychopath? Now, there is a test created by Robert Hare, one of the world's leading thinkers in regards to psychopathy. He's created a test in which there are 20 questions, and if you score over 30, then you are a psychopath. So let's see if Google is a psychopath. Question number one. Do you exhibit glib and superficial charm? Absolutely. Look at this here. We've got the lovely, superficially charming people walking on those running machines who soon will be going back to their desks, snooping on all of us and selling our data to the highest bidder. <laughs> Do you have a grandiose estimation of self? Absolutely, Google, look at them. Absolutely, think of themselves as so big, they're mad, a mad idea. You know, these megalomaniacs who just want to control everything. Do you have a constant need for stimulation? Not only do you guys have a constant need for stimulation, you have a constant need to stimulate all of us so that we look at your screens and all your rubbish advertisements all day long. Are you a pathological liar? Well, we know, of course, that Google is basically one huge pathological lie. I mean, it's basically, you know, advertising is pathological deceit. That's what advertising is, just a bunch of load of old rubbish, deceitful nonsense, trying to get people to do stuff and buy stuff they don't need. Are you cunning and manipulative? <laughs> is Google cunning and manipulative? Absolutely. Look, they give away free Gmail accounts so they can snoop on you for the rest of your life. That's cunning and manipulative, isn't it? Nice, easy one to fall for, that one. Yeah, I got a lot of people into that one. Do you have a lack of remorse or guilt? Yeah, where is the CEO of Google? Come out, the CEO of Google, and come and apologise to the people. Do you know what I mean? It's time that the CEO said, look, we didn't really kind of... It just sort of ended up like this, and we've just got a bit out of hand, and now we're kind of controlling everything, and we've got everyone's information, and, and we're getting some good offers in. It's a bit difficult to, to know what to do, you know. But there's no remorse. There's no guilt. Are you callous, and do you lack empathy? Absolutely. As callous as you can get this lot. I mean, seriously. Have you ever watched any of the YouTube videos they're putting out into children's minds with the latest pop stars? Oh, my God. That is callous and lacking in any empathy for these poor kids. They've got no chance. Do you have a parasitic lifestyle? <laughs> Masters of the parasites. Google are literally a parasite living inside your life. They're like leeches. Leeches on us. Perverts. A bunch of flipping perverts up there. Perving into your email. How would you like it, sir? Over there, sir, for filming. How would you like it if I just sort of hang around all day and started taking photos of your emails and like keeping them on some drive somewhere. How would you like that? Would you like me to look at all your WhatsApp messages? You wouldn't, would you? If I did that, you'd call the police and I'd be put away. But that is what Google's doing, isn't it? Do you have poor behavioural controls? I think we can say yes, Google's got poor behavioural controls. It's got all out of hand now. They just can't control themselves in their lust for more power. Are you sexually promiscuous? Well, this is an interesting one, isn't it? Is Google sexually promiscuous? I'd say Google. Google is worse than being sexually promiscuous because Google promotes sexual promiscuity, doesn't it? Because the other side of this building, isn't it? YouTube, I think, yeah? Go and have a look at all the top artists who've got 2 billion, 1 billion views. They're all promoting sexual promiscuity. You, oh my God, you low-life psycho Google. Do you lack realistic long-term goals? That's another one, isn't it? Is anybody here, is the CEO prepared to come out and tell us what are your long-term goals? What, what, where is it gonna go? Are you more like 1984 or is it more Brave New World, do you think? Unrealistic long-term goals. What are their long-term goals? Do they have long-term goals? Who, who, who's running this whole thing? Are you irresponsible? 
There is no more irresponsible corporation in the world than, corp than, than Google. They are the ultimate ir of irresponsibility. They are stalking all of us. They're stalking us all. Even if you don't use Google, if you send a, G a mail, what, a mail to a friend who's got a Gmail account, they're looking at your, your e emails as well. Dirty perverts. Do you fail to accept responsibility for your own actions? Of course. Nobody's coming out of the building and saying, no, we're really sorry. I know it's got a bit far, we're sort of yeah, looking at everyone's emails. But you know what I mean? I mean, we, you know, we do sell that stuff and we've got some very good bidders who really are quite interested in your emails. I don't know why, because your email's probably really boring. Do you have a history of juvenile delinquency? What were you like when you were young, Google? Just a few years old. You're probably a bit of a delinquent then, weren't you? I mean, if Google was a human being, you would want Google to be sterilised immediately. No children for Google. Do you display criminal versatility? Absolutely. I mean, if you want to see real criminality at work and the versatility of it all, just look up here. Look at those guys on the running machine. They look all so lovely, don't they? They don't look like they've been involved in criminal behaviour, like snooping, like being curvy and looking at everything that you, you've got and keeping it all on record and then selling it to their mates, no matter who their mates might be. Selling, it, selling your personal information to the highest bidder. If I did that to you, sir, you would slap me round the face. Imagine if I just helped myself to have a look at your mobile phone. How would you like that, sir? So, ladies and gentlemen, we can conclude that if Google was a human being, it would be a psychopath and it would be locked away, if not put to death which is what we really need to do to Google, isn't it? We need to say enough is enough, come out of the building with your hands on your head, you lot. Stop it. Stop what you're doing. Stop messing with children's minds.